Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me, Psychic Me, I'm Natasha, and I'm here just to do a quick video for you guys. Um, in today's video, I wanna talk about candle offerings. You may have heard me talk about this topic before, maybe in a different video or just chit-chatting. Um, I did wanna dedicate a specific video for this, so if you already know this or you don't care to learn, then you don't need this video, but I wanna dedicate a video specifically for this. I am constantly having this um, conversation over and over again, so I want to just have one video I can just, you know, po pinpoint to someone and they can just watch this and go all into that. So in today's video, I'm going to go in depth about candle offerings. What is a candle offering? Who are they for? How do you do it? And I'm also going to be uh, doing a live demonstration on how you do a candle offering so that you guys can feel comfortable doing this on your own, in your own practice or in your own life, in whatever way you best see fit. So if you're interested in learning how to do this or about this, please hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss any of my content, and let's just get right into this. So what is a candle offering and who are they for? So a candle offering is essentially when you are dedicating a candle um, to a specific spirit. And the purpose of this is a few things. One, you are dedicating that candle to that spirit. So you're also dedicating the energy associated with that candle to that spirit. Um, meaning, a little background, spirits don't need energy <laughs> to do stuff. They just can't like eat a sandwich anymore. You know, like they don't have a physical body. So they need like raw energy. And I like to do that through candle offerings because as the candle essentially burns down, your spirit will be able to draw the energy from that candle as it's burning and they can use that to replenish themselves. So I like to do candle offerings so spirits can replenish themselves. Um, it's also a way for you to form a stronger or build a psychic link with them, especially if you're a beginner and you're trying to like have conversations or messages brought, you know, or build a relationship that will make that a stronger connection between you two. And it's also just a way just to give honor and thanks as well for that particular spirit. And that may be important, you know, depending on if you're, if you're grieving or if they're maybe transitioning, you know, processing their life, or perhaps if the spirit may be earthbound. Um, earthbound spirits in general, they don't, they may not be used to having an etheric body. They may still be in shock of leaving, you know, life. And, you know, so earthbound spirits, I noticed that they especially need candle offerings. And if you want more in-depth information about earthbound spirits, I do have a video about earthbound spirits versus crossed over spirits. So you could definitely look into that on my channel. But I just find that earthbound spirits specifically, they definitely need to replenish themselves. They usually don't replenish themselves as needed because they're still coming into form of like, you know, their new form, like they're still adjusting. So who are the candle offerings for? Well, yes, definitely earthbound spirits um, are on like on the top of my list because I find that they need energy, they generally need more energy and they're trying to connect with somebody. So I find that if a spirit is earthbound, a great way of how to go about that is to pray to them and also to give candle offerings for them or perhaps get assistance for them to be able to cross over. Um, you can also do candle offerings for your spirit guides. Any of your, there's different types of spirit guides, but in a general sense, this is great to do for spirit guides. Um, you can do candle offerings for your ancestors if you want to pay respects or just give energy or, again, a stronger connection with them. Um, yeah, um, spirit guides, deceased loved ones. Some people like to also do candle offerings for their soul family if you know that they're etheric. But generally, you can do candle offerings for anyone, you know, depending on what your beliefs or your culture or whatever is. It's just a great way to, again, to give to the spirits, whether it's for replenishing, giving honor, thanks, or forming that stronger connection with them. It is the offering to give to them 
fully. And when I do candle offerings, regardless of what type of candle I'm using, I always traditionally or generally speaking, um, allow the candle to fully burn down. If I'm using like some big candle for whatever reason, I will snuff it out, meaning I will like, you know, cover the top so that way the um the oxygen gets cut off and then the flame goes out. Um because generally speaking you don't want to like blow your candles. But people have different beliefs on that. I just personally do not. In my opinion, it's like almost dismissing or dispersing those energies associated with the candle. So if you like must leave or whatnot and you know, then of course be safe. Put the candle out, but don't and then it goes away, like, snuff it out. Like, you know, maybe use a shell or a cup or your hand, you know, whatever you think is safe or use your own knowledge, like, you know, your logic. But, yeah. So, I told you about what candle offerings are and who are they for. Let's talk about how to actually do this. So, um, like I said, you can use any kind of candle. For the demonstration, I will be using a tea light. Um... I'm not going to lie, I do prefer to use tea lights in in general for um, candle offerings because a few reasons. One, they only take like three hours, generally like three-ish hours to burn all the way. And trust me, you don't want to be waiting for like hours, you know, may, maybe if it's like Samhain or it's a Sabbath or something, you know, for this candle offering like, you don't want to wait eight hours for a candle to finish burning, do you? You know what I mean? So, if you want, you know, because you can burn multiple of these. I just find that three hours is a good time range for them to have a good amount of energy. But you're not, like, waiting forever because you have a life. <laughs> um, but, yes, you can use any type of candle you like. Organic is best, but use what you have, you know, um... I prefer to use tea lights, but you can use the tall tapered ones or like a seven day candle, you know, use any kind of candle you want, but it's more about intention than anything. Um, you're going to want to first cleanse your candle. Um, you could do this in, you know, different ways, but generally I usually just use a, a smoke cleanse, like my incense to cleanse this because it's fast. Um, but there's different ways you can go about cleansing this. Just use whatever technique you is, you know, it's best for you. And the first thing you want to do after cleansing your um, candle offering is you want to engrave your candle. And because this is a tea light, um, I'm not necessarily going to like carve like the full name of who this is for. You could write um, like initials. So either initials, a full name, you know, it's that way you're attaching the name to the candle. So um, I like I have a specific tool for this. This is my knife that I use specifically for engraving. I do not use a common like um, I do not use a common mundane knife. I, this is a tool in my practice. I have consecrated this, so you know do with that what you will. But I'm just telling you how I do this. So I'm gonna dedicate this to a specific spirit, and I'm not gonna tell you, but I'm gonna carve their name into this. So. Okay, so I'm carving the name. The next thing, <sighs> okay, after you carve the name, the next thing you could do is you could anoint the candle. Um, so, you know, some people, this is optional, but, you know, if you wish to engrave and anoint, do what you wish. It's more so about intention. I'm going to... Put lavender essential oil on this to bring forth like tranquility or peace to the spirit. Um, that especially could be helpful if that spirit may have died suddenly or um, had a hard life. You know, if you want to give a specific calming energy to a spirit, you can do so by anointing or, um, yeah, anointing the the candle so i use a la lavender essential oil for tranquility and peace i'm also going to add calendula um yes calendula flower calendula flower is really great for healing in a general sense and i definitely want to give healing energies to this particular spirit so i'm just gonna put some on there okay all right next I'm just going to 
Next, I'm going to dedicate this candle to a specific spirit. So I'm going to give you my general uh, chant that I use for candle offerings. So you're going to want to, um, I like to generally put my, put the candle in my left hand, then put my, the hand that's dominant, the hand I write with on the top, but do whatever you feel is best. So I like to cup my hands over the wick, you know, depending if it's a large candle, you might need to do this, but as a tea light, I like to do left on the bottom, right on top. And what I do is I'm like, I dedicate this candle to so-and-so. May you take this, may, may you take the energy attached to this candle to replenish yourself. And may we have a stronger connection with one another. As I will it, so it be, or so it is, or amen. Whatever wording you wish to do that. But that's the intention. You wanna put your energy visualization intent into the candle so you want to speak it you know um you know say this candle is for may you use this candle to replenish yourself and so we connect with one another and as i will it so so will it be or so it is and then you could say amen blessed be whatever you wish and then typically you'll light your candle um and then i like to put my candle offerings on my on my altar so that's how I go about candle offerings it's very simple um you can you know like I said you could do it for so for so many people you know ancestors deceased loved ones ancestors um nature spirits fae it's a really great way to give back to the spirits as well as to form a stronger connection with them and also just to give honor and thanks to them you know it's 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 a way to give back it's an offering so i hope you guys find this video helpful um feel free to rewind if you need you know to come back to this but thank you guys for watching a blessed be